Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. Okay, let's start with the tropics and we're going to look at Brett now. The 11 p.m. update is in and more of the same. We're getting growing confidence as this uh, forecast cone does uh, get tighter and tighter and more concentrated. We get more confidence and most computer models continue to have this thing moving into the Caribbean, more or less being torn apart by wind shear and moving towards Central America. Um, we watch what is behind it and what could potentially become Cindy over the next seven days. We've got still 70% chance of development over the next two days, 80% over the next week, and still a lot of growing confidence with this as well that it'll be more of a recurve away. Let's look at our forecast for the tropics. We can see Brett. Uh, becoming that wide swath of clouds crossing into the Caribbean and then behind it uh, the second wave which I'll just refer to as potentially Cindy doing that recurve into the Atlantic. We'll watch carefully but right now um, over the next seven to ten days nothing that's going to threaten the first coast. St. Augustine time last gorgeous uh, finish to the night absolutely beautiful sunset. We do have some showers on the way though for St. Augustine as uh, you saw they turned the last nap time on the boat there. They just turned the lights off, but they'll have a little rain if there are folks sleeping on board um, making its way there. And um, here is our big area of showers and thunderstorms coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the good thing with this, this is a lot of lightning, a lot. But as the storms come on shore, they're losing the dynamics of this warm bath water of the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, still some lightning and some thunder that perhaps could wake you up as um, we go to sleep through the middle of the night. But these are showers that are going to linger around through the morning commute as well. Zooming on in uh, down towards Lake City. Lake City, you're getting some heavy downpours. You're hearing the thunder, but it's still well to your west, so some lightning will make, be making its way towards you here over the next 30 to 45 minutes. Just some wide stratiform rain, uh, more or less, as we watch what's coming out of the Gulf of Mexico as well. And this will uh, bring even more rain to the gardens and the grass overnight, too. Not that we necessarily need it, but uh, again, we'll look at the bright side of this. It's happening at night. No real major outdoor plans, right? And um, we can turn the sprinklers off. Still mild and muggy uh, out there. I'd say if you do need to let the puppy dog out and you're in uh, the uh, Duval County, Nassau, Clay, St. John's, we haven't quite hit that major rain yet, so you could probably sneak out, let them out one more time, and then hurry back in before the rain does get you. Here's your future cast. So uh, we go through uh, Wednesday, or excuse me, Thursday uh, morning at, with those showers yet again. I, I'm getting confidence though that our afternoon might be a little bit better. We'll still have some spotty showers out there, but you might be able to escape and do a little outdoor kind of activity. Maybe you need to finally cut the yard. Maybe tomorrow afternoon is the day to do it, but we continue with these waves of showers and storms again for Friday, but there is hope in the seven day. I'm going to show you here in just a moment. First, let's go to the beach. South winds 15 to 20. We'll get up to about 88, but the showers and storms for this side of things look to be on the earlier side of the day. Mentioned the hope we dropped those rain chances to 40 and even my goodness, 30%. Geez, we've been in the 70s to 90s as far as our percentage chance rain, but look at the temperatures go up mid upper 90s in the seven day forecast. All right, Chris Porter, let's heat it up. Turn up the volume. Let's do it, sweet Lou. 